Hey all, welcome back to part 2 of Minotaur Transmuter here with Ultraviolet 4. The end of the last one, after getting hounded by many gnolls, we picked up Wu Jian, who is going to be our god for this one. It's the ninja god, so we're going to play as a ninja using unarmed attacks. It seems very appropriate that if we're going to be the ninja god, we may as well like perform some karate. Anyway, I've never played this god before, so this is going to be a completely new experience for me. Um, perhaps I'm going to do it completely wrong, <laughs> but let's have a look at our abilities. And the way that you look at your god abilities is, I don't know what that official name is, but it's the hat. When you press shift six, the little hat, I'm sure it's got a funny name. Anyway. Um, so a few days ago some of these were re reworked and looking at this I'm not sure if this is in the correct order so apparently we have the ability to perform damaging attacks by moving towards foes but my understanding is that this one here which is serpent slash where you can move at supernatural speeds got made the first ability to unlock and then the others so uh, this might not be updated, or maybe I read the commits wrong, but let's hit that hat button again, and this explains them better. So apparently we have lunge at the moment, but I'm not sure if that's true. Um, that deals extra damage against slowed or distracted monsters. And you can see here with the little pictures, if you're one tile away and you move into that enemy that's distracted, they can also be asleep, so if you're stealthy, it allows you to do bonus stab damage from an extra tile away. Um, so that's lunge. When you unlock whirlwind, um, basically if you move from a tile that's adjacent to an enemy, so like here you were to the left of it, and you move to another tile that's still adjacent to it, you will do attacks as you move. And the number of attacks you do is scaled to your move speed. So let's say a normal move takes one turn. If your attacks take one turn, basically every time you move you do one attack. Now let's say your attacks take half a turn. That means that when you move you do two attacks. Or if it's some not whole number, it will basically, you have a chance that you might do a second one every time you move. Um, and what's really cool about that is you can effectively get cleave because you hit every enemy that you move, you whirlwind. So if you're adjacent to two enemies and you move to a spot that's basically you whirlwind two enemies, you'll hit them both. Which means sometime in the future we might be able to do cleaving blade hands, which sounds amazing. <laughs> oh dear, that's sick. And then also... Uh, we'll get wall jump, which has also been, it's been reworked a couple of times. When it first got put in the game, you could just wall jump whenever you wanted. And when that first happened, I thought, man, this god sounds so cool. You can just flip everywhere. <laughs> you can just, yes. Why walk anyway? You can just flip off walls the whole time. Uh, apparently that was too broken and overpowered. So it got changed that you have to have, um an enemy to target so that you'll land on top of them. Uh, now it's being reworked again. You don't have to have a target, but it's slow. So instead of taking one turn, it takes two. Um, so the idea is that you can't just use it as an infinite escape ability. Uh, I can't try it out yet because we haven't unlocked our flip ability. Um, but we can mess with it in the future. And then Serpent's Lash, which was in this one, it allows you to do two, um, two martial, or your next two moves are done instantly. So that could just be walking away twice, or it could be doing two martial attacks twice. Uh, that's been reworked too. I think you're meant to get it earlier, as I was saying, but we'll see. Um, also, it's piety cost has just been halved. Uh, if you do martial attacks, you get 40% extra damage, it was 50 before, and you get exhausted, but the exhaustion um, time has been lowered as well. 
So uh, we'll see, but this might now, this Serpent Slash might be a really spammable ability. If it is, that would be really cool. And uh, this god would sound interesting again. So let's play, we'll see how we go. Um, also getting piety for Wu Jian, basically he just enjoys you killing stuff. He doesn't care what you kill or how you kill it. Alright, uh, ID scroll, we're going to do our potions. We've got to be a bit careful because we know there's a um, ice beast down there, which is very terrifying. Alright, just quick check of our training. We've got transmutations up to three. It might be a good idea to stop briefly stop training transmutations. And we've got six to snakes to nine. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Let's just... We're not going to do this for very long, but we're going to turn transmutations off. And instead we're going to focus poison magic. And that's because spider form is a transmutation and poison dual school spell. Um, which means it takes your average of the two. So at the moment we have three and zero, it means we effectively have 1.5 skill. If we train poison magic up to two or even three, um, we should be able to use it. Um, and that's a really handy spell for quite a while. Particularly because with our, our dumb Minotaur, uh, we're going to be... It's going to take us a while <laughs> until we can use uh, Blade Hands or even Ice Form, probably. Uh, it's a level 4 and a level 5 spell there. Yeah. So, yeah, it would be really good if we could get... Um, what's that thing? Spider form going. Okay, have we? We don't have any more remove curse scrolls. We're on the lookout for remove curse scrolls because if we get another one, we can test out these rings that we've got here. Hmm. Still have not seen. All right, we're now. We still haven't seen the ice beast. Uh, when you get an adder on the the worker ant who's susceptible to poison, it's going to die. And yeah, we even the council is accepting our kill even when our adders are doing it for us. A book, a book of minor magic. That's amazing, uh, but less amazing for a minotaur. But maybe not. Like we could learn blink right now, and even with no translocation training, we'd still have a one in three chance of using it. Um, but in saying that, we soon are gonna get. The ability to wall flip, which is kind of like blink, but not really. I think it's worth just learning blink. Uh, it gives us a bit of extra utility. Uses pretty much all of the spell school levels we had, which is going to further delay ice form. But that's okay, because now um, we just got a really good panic button. Say we get trapped between monsters from both sides, we can blink out, or at least try. Um, a phantom. So they're going to blink everywhere. They can hit for up to 10 damage. They're immune to poison. So our issue here is that our adders are not really going to hurt them. Uh, we can just... I think we can just beat him down. It looks like he can't get constricted either. Good. We got him anyway. Uh, more rings we can't use. Scorpion is similar to the ants. They're not faster, but they're, the amount of poison they do is quite gruesome. So don't get hit by them without curing. Uh, again, susceptible. So if we can get an adder, um, I don't want to go anywhere near the scorpion. Uh, we just, we f not only did we just fail our spell, but then the scorpion random energy on top of us. So I'm going to walk back towards our snake and I'm going to use that to make a gap again. And then, what do we do here? Ah, uh, I know. Scorpions can't open doors. So we just go shut the door. We'll see if we can get an adder. No. We're gonna just keep casting six of snakes until we get an adder. Oh, we got three pythons. We got four, that should do it. Oh, he walked away. Oh man, we got outplayed. Okay, never mind. We just used so many arrows for no reason. Uh, outplayed. We still got 39, that's okay. It's not a huge deal. There he is. Where's that adder? Damn you, why are you so... 
Why are you so clever, Scorpion? He just walked away again. Alright, here we go. Go ball pythons. I use TA to instruct them to attack. I don't know if lunge works on something that's constricted. I'm going to say that that doesn't count. But we can test that out when it's a monster that I am not so afraid of ending up adjacent to. It's an interesting question. Why is that adder? Why can't we ever get an adder? Okay, we're just gonna walk around until we... Ah, there we go. Alright, there we go. As soon as we got the adder, the scorpion was done. Okay, orc indicates maybe priests and wizards, which is why I'm, I immediately stepped back as soon as I saw him. Alright, there we go. Adder. Uh, just the adder should be okay. Alright, I'm going to start walking away. We've been poisoned. Um, and again, no curing. So I don't want to get hit any more times. Again, running from the orcs. We can fight just these regular orcs without snakes. It would only be if there's the wizard or the priest, or both, that it's an issue. I just want to do a quick check on spider form, 26%. Uh, I mean, we have so many arrows, we may as well just make snakes. Um, but being being poisoned to death by a single adder now, when we have 57% HP, it's very unlikely. The ice beast is now yellow. Uh, I don't know. If we get good snake rolls, um, we really need the water macassan because these guys are poison resistant, so the adder is not going to do it. I don't know if we can fight this. He hits for up to 5 damage, but up to an extra 15 cold damage. So he does up to 20 damage per go. Um, I think we can have a go. We've got so much HP. Ooh, we can take one more hit and then we need to start running away. No, we need to start running away. Okay, so I'm, I use my snakes there to make a gap. And now we're going to just uh, run back towards the upstairs that we know is uh, through the unknown, which was not what I planned. I thought we had a good path there. Unless we run all the way back, that's uh, just too far. Okay. So I think this unknown here is okay. Uh, we could also make another snake here. No, he just chews through them. Yeah, we'll just go back upstairs. I think we basically just got to avoid him for the time being. We're not strong enough to fight him. Maybe with a buckler we could? Spider form isn't amazing either because, uh, again, poison resistant. Okay, so we we shut the door on him in there. We've explored most of the level, I would say. So let's just go downstairs. We can come back up later if we remember, which I probably won't. Oh, <laughs> here's another one. <laughs> Why? Uh, it's just... Unless we get a water macassan. I feel like this is not just not happening. Yeah, now the snakes get to just get monstered. Pick a new stair. Ooh, immediately next to the worker ant and immediately poisoned. Hmm. All right, let's make a snake. Okay. Uh, let's find out if lunge works. So he's kin. He's currently constricted. I don't know if that counts as distracted, but when we move adjacent to him, if we're lunging, we should basically um, do a whole bunch of bonus damage. Did we? We lunged at him in a flurry of attacks. Ah, oh, we got him. That's sick. Okay. So there you go. Uh, that's, that's some really good synergy. When we have these ball pythons that constrict stuff, we, we then get... Um, we get to stab stuff from a distance with bonus damage. Uh, that's really, really good. 
So I just add is <laughs> go. I'm just not poisoning him. There we go. All right. So we're at half HP. I think we just go up and rest. As long as you're not too insane, it's pretty difficult to die to a phantom because they blink away from you. So especially if you're near a stair. Uh, if you're dying, just go back upstairs. We could also have parked him on the floor above uh, if we really had no way to deal with him. Also, we're chasing him into the unknown, which is stupid. Yeah, like that. He lured a bear in. If we had... If we chased him all the way in here and there was, could have been a unique in there and as we're running back out now there's a bear. Bears go berserk as they're dying so that's a bit scary but we've got, we've got double adders so we should be okay here. Go adders, go. Alright, heading to the stairs now. Good, we got him. Our shield's at three. Um, we still don't have removed curse, so there's a chance that it's cursed. Um, let's just wait the one more level to get it to four. And in fact, I'm going to focus shields as well. Uh, stop focusing unarmed, focus shields, and then. We'll get to four, we can start using the buckler, and then, yeah, we don't have to be afraid that it's going to make our spells uncastable, because the shield penalty will be gone. Oh, and that, by the way, using lunge does show that uh, lunge is, in fact, the first ability unlocked, which is odd. Uh, let's see, I don't know how to do this properly. Um, Git Lash. There's some way that you can search the the most recent um, commits to the game. But it looks like it's not like that. Okay, I'm not sure how you do it. Uh, we also know our spells are a bit better, although spider form is not really. I was thinking we could go to the leather armor. Okay, uh, the sky beast is a bit scary. Um, I'm just going to go up. We're going to pick a new stair. The one not... Oh god, if I was afraid of the last stair, what is this? Oh my god. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. So let's see what's up the stair if we go back up. Okay, that's probably better. Um, but yeah, we have no curing that we know about, and we're adjacent to a worker ant and a scorpion and an ice beast that can do 20 damage per hit. Um, and I don't really want to blink here because not only. Is there a 30% chance we fail it? But uh, we also might just end up, say, next to this ogre, and now we're between an ogre and a worker ant. So I don't, I don't like that. I think we need to go up, and we need to just hope that we can either then just walk away or blink away. But even as we go up here, there's a chance that the scorpion and the worker ant both poison us, and then uh, we're lethally poisoned almost. Man, what a stare. Alright, well, let's go up. Oh, okay, so what happened there? Is it just the ice beast? The worker ant bit us, but fortunately did not poison us. The scorpion missed us, so again didn't poison us. And the ice beast hit us for, yeah, a huge amount of damage. Alright, uh, so I guess we start walking away. 
problem is the ant is faster than us. We have a net. Let's quiver the net. Shift Q is quiver. Um, you can change what things you're quivering without taking an action. Um, so one thing we can potentially do is try to quiver the ant. But we want to start walking towards an upstair to get back upstairs. Probably this one. Um, I don't want to blink here because 30% chance to fail and it's likely that we just die um, if we fail it. Alright, well as much as I want to walk down, we kind of need to walk left so we're not giving the ice beast additional turns to attack us. Oh boy. So we're going to have to walk around the top and then back down to a stair this way and hope we don't meet the other ice beast. Alright, let's go. Alright, so we've got the ant next to us. Um, we can probably take one, yeah, we can take a couple of shots from him without being lethally poisoned. So let's try some snakes and then hopefully they can distract him. If not, just kill him. Come on, snakes. I need you to... I failed it. Oh, we failed it twice. The 9% chance to fail, we failed it twice. Uh, so now we're now out of mana. Um, and he's not dead. What do? We could read a teleport. Um... That might be worth. The problem is that the end is faster than us. So as we're as we're just trying to run away, um, he's going to be attacking us and poisoning us. And then if we decide not to run away and we fight him, we're now half HP and there's an ice beast adjacent to us. Uh, I guess we just teleport. That's uh, one of our only two. But I guess this situation is bad enough. Alright, we landed next to the stair, so that's lucky. Uh, which stair was that, by the way? I don't want to accidentally go down there again. I want to exit out before I forget. It's this one. Look at that. Jeez. Alright, so let's see if we can fight this stuff without uh, doing it all at once. Oh, we can lunge it. Ready? Lunge. Boom. You lunge at the scorpion. Wow, we didn't kill it though. He's still constricted. Damn it. Uh, new snake. Constrict him. Damn it. Uh, he's distracted. Lunge. We lunge, but we missed. I don't know. I feel like I should stop doing this. Uh, it's. It's risky. We keep landing next to the scorpion. We're already one tick of poison. Let's make a new snake. Um, Alright. He's constricted. He's nearly dead. One more lunge. Got him. Alright, that time we didn't miss. Um, well, we've got the ice base up here. Why don't we just leave both ice base here? And not worry about them. Uh, I remember. There's a sky base here. Let's take the orc up. And then we'll deal with the sky beast. Uh, so we've got our app up. It's alright. Oh man. Uh, let's see. So he's he can do 13 damage. 5 from his hit and then 7 of the left damage. So we're not going to go die in one turn. Let's make a snake again. Let's make another snake. I'm trying to get it behind us so we can make a gap. Um, and then we want to we want to get to one of these upstairs, but we also don't want to meet the ice base. So I'm going to stay down the bottom here and just sort of loop around. He's chasing us while invis. Here comes sky base, uh, ice base one. Man, this has been for a minotaur game. This has been very difficult. Um, I guess we need to go fight them at least. Okay, 
How can we fight them? We can't really. Unless we get really good snakes. Um, I just didn't see this happening. I also, because we could loop around here and just go back downstairs, but then we're making that upstairs no longer usable if we have to try to escape D5. Uh, so I'm not too keen to try doing that. I just don't see how we beat this Ice Beast unless maybe with Spider Form. Alright, well we'll give Spider Form a go. Um, I'll make a macro for that too. I've already, I already made one. 22% chance to fail, let's give it a go. Failed. Figures. They can't open doors. We'll just wait here. Eat this fruit. Uh, let's try some snakes. What's the bet that he's no longer waiting at the store? Spider form, please. Okay, we've got it. Alright. Uh, well, I didn't look at it, but uh, there are a couple of main benefits to spider form. The first is that you get a uh, a venomous bite uh, which means you can poison monsters so that's really good the other thing is that you get a lot of evasion so this takes out EV up to 20 uh, downsides are that you lose your horns uh, you also lose your armor if we have a look our robe is melted similarly if we had a buckler it would be melted and I'm not I'm not sure about spider form and um, your auxiliary armors. Let's ask spider form. No weapons or armor. So you get you get plus five to your unarmed combat damage. So that's good. Load of evasion. Uh, when it says no weapons or armor, I'm assuming that means any armor. So you probably lose your your um, your boots, your gloves, everything. Alright, come here. I wanted everything to back up. It's in front of us. I'm gonna start biting it even though it's invis. Oh, it ran out. Yeah, our, <laughs> our int is so low <laughs> that uh, the only thing that... So if I hit shift I and exclamation mark, you can have a look at our spell power. It's really low. Spell power and transformations is how long uh, your transformation lasts, so we really do not stay a spider for very long at all. I'm gonna start fighting this because he's already poisoned, and we've got two adders with us. Okay, so we've got him. A bunch of our spells go up. I think we want to reset before we take on the before we take on the ice beast. Are the adders just gonna win? No. Really not. We can shut the door again. Um, failed. Okay, there's our spider form, and yeah, he's not there. Seems like we only get about 10 turns to be a spider. He hasn't seen us. Uh, we didn't get to lunge. Okay, so it seems like even if you're next to them, you can't attack them and get the lunge. You literally have to be one tile away and walk adjacent. Alright, there's our spider, so we're more evasive now. Uh, one thing to note is that you get susceptibility to poison as a spider. Don't use it on something like a black mamba or a scorpion because you'll die very quickly. And we'll see if we can beat him. We take one more shot. We really can't because if he hits us and then we start walking away to regen, uh, he might random energy us. You are not fast as a spider. Note that. Oh man, do we get to be a ninja spider eventually? Can we can we spider flip off walls? That's sick. Let's make a snake. You don't have anything to turn into a snake. Oh, because we can't use our hands. Fair enough. I want to try to... Oh, what? Where are arrows? Do we... We actually ran out of arrows. Oh, okay. I, okay. We had so many arrows that I was just like, we can spam six snakes all day. Uh, turns out that we couldn't. 
All right, so it's not the issue is wasn't that we we're a spider. It was that we have no arrows left. Okay, we've oh he outplayed us. He's got to run around and shut all the doors, and then we can make that stair down there safe. Okay, he's trapped. All right. All right. So yeah. Note to self, don't spam sticks to snakes so much that you run out of all your arrows. Every time I see orcs, I'm still, I'm just running. Block has seen us. Block is a scary version of a um, an orc wizard. Uh, so he's got all the things where he can't confuse you, thankfully, but he does the whole haste himself, go invis, throw flame, magic dart, and frost at you. Um, I would love to make snakes, but we can't. If we could get spider form off, that would be really helpful. Uh, all right. So. Have a look, we've got 2 AC, 12 evasion up in here. When we use spider form, we get the plus 5 damage, we get a venomous bite, and we get 8 extra EV. If we can cast it, we just failed it twice at 21%. We've got one more go. We <laughs> failed it three times at 21% to fail. Why does the game do this? Oh, God. Alright, well, we've got to run. I was going to say, if he hastes himself, we're basically in a lot of trouble. <laughs> because we can no longer run. Um, so what do we do? I really don't want to teleport. We've got a lot, it's our only teleport and there's a lot of the floor that we haven't seen. But we might have to, thanks to that amazing RNG there. If we could get our magic back. There, please. Okay, we got it. So we can slowly start fighting him. Okay, we poisoned him once, it's good. Alright, he's missing us. We've got 20 evasion, it's gonna happen a lot. He drank a potion of heal wounds. <laughs> oh man, that is so unfair. Alright, well, let's keep going. He says, I'll drink your blood soon. That's really depraved, Walk. All right, well, we got him. Okay, and there's our shields. Well, we can eat him. There you go, taught him a lesson. He said he was gonna eat us, we're gonna eat him. Uh, that's our shields to its min delay. Let's refocus on um, combat, and let's put the buckler on. Gives us four shield. Uh, when we're in spider form, it doesn't help, but think of all these situations we've been in where we've been running from worker ants or running from hasted blocks and so on. Um, the buckler would be helping us in those situations. Here's an amulet. No remove curse, so we can't put that on. Could be a uh, minus one curse for all we know. Don't go spider form against the worker ant. Okay, we reached level eight. We should have enough spell levels now, we do, for ice form. Um, it's, not, it's not really usable until we get um, we have to train ice to use it, basically. And my phone is buzzing. It's probably you idiots. <laughs> I just released part one, so I'm, I'm guessing my phone's buzzing to tell me all your comments. Alright, uh, what did I want to do? Look at my training. We're still, we need to train more spider form. Okay. Um, I guess in that case, I may as well hold off on learning Ice Form. Maybe we could learn Conjure Flame and get a bit of utility um, that way as well. But certainly in the meantime, what I'd like to do after Spider Form is train a little bit of Translocations at minus three, it's so painful, to get Blink a bit more castable, and then maybe we'll train some Ice for Ice Form. Let's keep going. 
I'm just going to read the scroll. It's an enchant weapon. You can't enchant your fists. I really wish you could. Man, fighting these ants is still kind of scary because we don't have um, curing. And there's so many of them. Um, I guess I, I should be throwing stones. I'm being lazy. I mean, we want to be streak players. Let's throw stones. They did literally nothing. Oh well. Necrophage. That's interesting. Um, he's immune to poison, uh, but he does not do poison damage himself, so. Uh, we may as well be spider form for the extra damage and evasion. Uh, another buckler, there's an ogre. Uh, spider form is really good against ogres. Um, that's because they attack relatively slowly. Uh, but also, let's move closer so that our few turns that we get as a spider don't just run out. Uh, but also, you can kite things with the poison. You failed. We'll rest. Okay, so I'm going to dot rather than walk into him. Uh, it's something that you should try to do. So we were one space away from him there. Uh, particularly for something like an ogre that hits really hard. If you use your turn to step into the enemy, they'll then use their turn to hit you. Whereas if you wait, they'll use their turn to step to you. And then you get the first attack. So we're going to take this slowly. If he ever hits us, we start backing up and then hoping that poison just finishes him off. Alright, we may as well back up anyway. He's poisoned enough that he's going to tick out. Spell casting to three after all this time. I think, um, I would love to do the amulet, but considering that we still don't have curing, I think the stack of two is more important. Yeah, okay, there we've got curing. Next ID, we'll go Amulet. Amulets can be really um, powerful, particularly if it's, say, like a plus six reflection amulet. Oh, that'd be really good. Um, I don't want to check the hatch up because we've got unsupervised ice beasts running around. All right, onto D7. Hey, I removed Curse Scroll, also a troll. A uh, d6 troll, I don't know if you saw, it was marked red, is really early. A troll is scary enough on d10 or so. So uh, we're going to stay well away from that. We're going to pick a new stair. Poison magic to 3, that means spider form is at 17%. Oh man, Minotaurs are so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. Uh, I really don't want to train more poison than that, but it's still not very good. We'll train poison and transmutations. Uh, we'll take poison to, I guess, four. That's more than I want. But it's so... You saw when we fought Block that... In dangerous situations where we really need it, we might fail it three times in a row. So I think we just have to train more poison magic to try to get the spell failure up. We'll put a um, spell target on. We'll take it skill target. We'll take it to four. And then, yeah. And then once we're there, we'll do a bit of translocation for blink. Man, I've never tried. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever... Uh, really tried using spells on a Minotaur. I've done it, say, an extended game with a 15 room Minotaur, but this early part in the game, they are really, really bad. Before we go down, now we've got removed curse, let's try out all these rings. Protection from cold, hey, that lets us fight the ice beast. Let's, let's do that. Positive energy, do a reminder to stay positive. That's not how you spell positive. Stay positivity, good enough. Flight and fire. Okay. Uh, so I guess we want to have the plus three inton and the protection from cold. 
Um, and it's probably worth putting the amulet on. Um, if it is faith, and I haven't thought about how good faith is with Wujian, I guess that depends on how spammable Serpent Slash is, but yeah, I've never played it, so it's hard to assess. Um, but even if we get faith and I don't actually want it for us, we could take it off. We still have never reached our first point of piety. So losing, I think you lose a third of your total piety when you take off faith wouldn't be a big deal. And if we got harm for, and so it drained us, it wouldn't matter that much either. I'm just going to do it. Yeah, cursed inaccuracy. Wait, where's the remove curse scroll? Oh, did I leave it down with the troll? Is that what happened? Oh, I didn't actually pick it up. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I saw the remove curse and I basically just assumed that I had it, but we haven't actually picked it up yet. Now we're stuck with the cursed inaccuracy. I think we have to go try to get it. <laughs> if the troll wakes up though, Oh, uh, what have I done? What have I done? I guess we go spider form first. Just in case he wakes up, so at least we're more evasive. I'm also trying to stay out of his vision so that he doesn't wake up. He woke up. We can't get it. We cannot get it. Oh. Have a look at a troll can bite for up to 20 damage and claw twice for 15. That's 50 damage in one go. And couple that with fast regen, which makes trying to poison it to death with spider form not as effective. Uh, we just, we cannot fight the troll. We cannot get the remove curse. What could we do? Thinking, blink is too scary. It's at 50% Chance to fail? Why is that? Do you lose your... Do you get a... You might... No, I'm really not sure. Spider form might give you a spellcasting penalty? Yeah, here, okay. And impeded spellcasting, right. So when we're in spider form, um, blink is even worse. Because I was thinking we could try to bring the troll up, then blink away from him, come back down, grab the remove curse. But I think we can't. Oh man. Okay, so we're stuck with... Until we find another remove curse, we're stuck with cursed inaccuracy. Oh man, that is... That is dumb. For real. Uh, and a new ring. I'm, I'm actually very happy. Oh, see, so all these fights are going to be so much harder now. I'm very happy that we didn't get a bad ring on top of the bad amulet. I mean, that's we waited all that time for the remove curse scroll. That's exactly why we did it. And then I never actually picked it up. At least, we haven't seen anything too dangerous yet. But if we meet something like a centaur that's faster than us and we have no choice but to fight, uh, we're kind of in a lot of trouble. Also, the troll is awake. He might be wandering. Maybe we could sneak up behind him and get the remove curse from the other direction. Let's try that. I'm so afraid. Shift X, Control E removes the exclusions. Shh. Pressing the buttons quietly so that I don't make noise. Oh, yes. Okay, we did it. Alright, thank God for that. Before we before we read it, let's test this other ring. Curse loudness. Okay, so uh, goodbye inaccuracy, goodbye loudness. Hello, int again. I hope the troll's not around this corner. Okay, good. Um, at this point, I think we may as well uh, go back up and fight the ice beast. 
considering we're putting so much experience into bad aptitude skills, uh, we'll take all the experience we can get. It should be in here. Uh, but he's significantly less dangerous. I'm going to go Shift X, Control F to get the floor. But now that we have Ice Form, yeah, much less scary. Having one pip of either RC or RF halves the damage you take from that element. And let's go Spider Form. Okay, I just wanted to check again. You do keep your rings, yet yeah, we still have the RC. Good. And there should be one more wandering around. We'll find him too. There he is. I stepped away because I hoped he wouldn't see us and we could maybe get another, um, what's that thing called, a lunge off? He hasn't seen us, so let's lunge. Did we just miss? Okay, he noticed us during the lunge, maybe? That's odd. He was definitely hadn't seen us when we started that lunge, and then we didn't lunge. Um, okay, switch into spider form. It lasts for two turns, and then we get the warning that um, it's running out. Okay, so we can Shift X Control U undoes it, and we remember the floor again. All right. So back down to D6, where we got a troll wandering around. Hey, we reached our first point of piety too, so what do we have? The hat button. Okay. So we do have Whirlwind. Um, I apparently just completely read the commit wrong that said Serpent's Lash is the first unlocked ability. Alright. So the thing about Whirlwind now is it's, got, it's undergone a few different changes as well, but it now pins things in place which means the first time they try to move, they won't. I don't know... I don't know in practice how that works. I guess a lot of you won't either because this is brand new. Um, so I don't know whether that means you pin them and then you now have a turn where you can... I'm trying to sh show this with my hands, which is so dumb because obviously you can't see them, but I'm miming out what I'm trying to show you. So you pin them and then you now have a chance to step away from them while they're stuck there. So you can use it to make a gap. Or if you pin them, and then for their turn, in response to you pinning them, they then unstick themselves. Not sure. I guess that means if they attack you rather than unsticking themselves, then you will get a gap. Because either they'll try to move and unstick, or they'll attack you and still be stuck. I don't know, we'll have to see. But I'm going to wrap that one up there. Uh, this was a really, really hard episode. Um, we went from D4 to D6, I think. And we only just started D6. Uh, that was rough. But if you join me in the next one, we'll, we'll test out these new whirlwind abilities. And I guess we'll start heading towards left. See you next time.